Dude Destruction and Beyond! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the unique toys, Lash Layer! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Lash Layer, his name is Lash Layer, on this side of the box we have, whoop, Lash Layer! On this side of the box we have him in his other modes, on the top of the box we got the whole team, on the bottom you have warning, please don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. And on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots, you can do this, that, the other things and stuff, and that's basically it for... The packaging also included is the collector's card with a nice image there of Lash Layer. And on the back it just says Unique Toys Hooray for Carts. Then moving right along, here we have Lash Layer, aka Combaticon Blastoff. And this is the next component of their Ragnaros Combiner, aka Brutus. And yeah, here is Blastoff, and he has a space shuttle, and it looks quite good, in my opinion. That's like a space shuttle. So let's get in closer so we can take a look at the details. You have the nice black paint right up front, some spots of black there, black for the cockpit section. Got a little dot of silver there, some more black, and some nice detail going down the sides. Some gray and black there on the wings. Got some nice riveting action going down the side and down the wings there. Tail fin, thrusters done in purple. And silver! And there is the underside. You do have some uh, transclearant smoky plastic there underneath the wings. You can see some molded detail behind it, which is an interesting design choice there. Hey, okay. <laughs> and you do have rolling landing gears. Um, it does, it rolls nicely forward. When you're going forward, it rolls perfectly fine. When you go backward, um, these landing gears will kind of collapse on you because these hinges are not that tight. So when you go backwards, the usually wants to collapse. Um, and these do rotate for transformation and it doesn't really matter which way you have them oriented. It's just a case of the uh, the hinges are just not strong enough and they'll just, yeah. So, <laughs> those hinges there could have been a little tighter. Um, you can see here, like, they, they're just they're just clipped on there. So maybe it would have been better if they, had actually, if they had actually been, you know, like riveted in place, uh, not riveted, but you know, have a pin, uh, have a pin put through them, so there's a bit more friction there. But uh, it's it's temperamental. Sometimes it wants to stay up. Sometimes it just wants to collapse. I don't know. But anyway, for comparison, uh, let's bring in the Warbatron blast off. So you can see how they look together. There, there he is with the Hasbro. Combiner Wars blast off when they decided to make him a jet. <laughs> and here he is with G1 blast off because it's pressure. So blasting off into pressure. Swoop. And for the people who get confused about what I'm saying there, I'm saying precious, not pressure. Not pressure. Why why pressure makes no sense? Precious makes total sense because G1 is precious. But anyway, not pressure. But anywho, let's bring in the rest of the boys here. So here we have Onslaught. Actually, we'll put Blast Off right there. Swindle. Brawl. And there we have our Combaticons so far. Yay! They look good together. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include the combined mode hand. We get the right hand of uh, Bruticus here. And it's a nicely done hand, in my opinion. You get some gunmetal gray, as well as some regular gray. You get some bits of red there. Good looking hand. We'll get into detail about articulation and all that once we actually review the combined mode. But you get that, and you also get... His gun, just a big old cannon here, just done in black, with some silver. You can flip down the handle, and the handle is weird. You can kind of see here. This looks like the plastic is mangled up. It's not the plastic that's mangled up. It's, they, they put some, like, coating on this handle, and I know why they did it. 
because you know and, and the funny thing is is that it solves one problem but creates another problem um but i can see why they put the coating on it they, they just put a coating on the handle to like thicken it up because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the gun and plug it into this port up here for storage and when you get to a certain point you feel that friction and it holds on just fine but if you actually push the cannon all the way down it just spins around like there's no friction whatsoever so apparently they put that coating on the handle to give it that extra bit of friction so it will actually stay in place when you plug it on top of the shuttle. Um, the downside of it is that it makes the gun incredibly difficult to get into its hand in robot mode and that's why this looks the way it does now because it's basically just, you know, scraping that coating that's off of it. Like, I can't even itch it off with my, with my nail here, like it just, it's just coming right off. And yeah, it's just, it just makes things look ugly but yeah it is what it is apparently their calculations were a bit off there and they were trying to fix it you know it kind of works but it kind of doesn't but oh well but yeah that is basically it for the space shuttle mode it's a nice looking space shuttle whoosh anyway let's get down to transformation shall we let so as usual we will go into combined mode and then go into robot mode so let me raise up some so i have some room to operate and now we will go into combined mode. So the first thing you want to do is just take the landing gears and just flip them up, flip them up. And where are we gonna start? We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So you just wanna take these sections right here, just untab them and just swing them around like so. Just swing those up. Uh, take this tail fin here and just bring this down like that. You want to untab this back section right here. You see there's two little tabs that go in there. And you want to take the wings and just bring them up like that. At this point now you just want to grab both, ha both halves and just give it a pull until the body extends like that. So that's pretty much the majority of what we have to do here. So now we will work on the upper section here. So now you want to take the nose cone here and you just want to just pop this up. Just pop that up like that and kind of bring that up. And you just want to get in here and you want to untab this whole top section here. You just want to have to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You have to give it a lot of wiggling because it does tab in quite securely. Just give it a good wiggle, 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 just undo all that like that so you can get up in here and fold this panel in and then fold that panel in fold that panel in fold that panel in and at this point now you can just take everything and just plop it right back where it was you can bring these out just to help you and just so you can see how everything needs to be oriented in here you just want the head just kind of tucked in right there and you want the fists just kind of laying back like that and then all this will just collapse up, just collapse that hinge up, and then just drop all of this down. Oops, there we go. Drop all that down, like that. And everything will just tab back into place. And you can bring these back down, like that. And there you have that done. So, Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I always forget to do this. Why do I always forget to do this? <sighs> okay, so bring this panel down, bring this up. We do have to flip out the combiner port, and to do that, we actually have to undo all this again, because I forgot to do it, because I'm a dum-dum. I'm a big old dum-dum. I know, you don't have to tell me. I know, I'm a dum-dum. Okay, wiggle, 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 there we go. So split the arms just enough to where you can get in here, and flip this down, and as usual, it's pretty tight but you will be able to manipulate it there we go just get that back together and now we can put all this back together there we go it's not a lot of work but still it's just always annoying because i always forget to do that why why brain why do you forget things brain anyway there we go. put that all back together okay so now we're good to go so you just want to take the thrusters here bring these up and now you just want to split 
this back section here. And at this point now we bring in the combine mode hand. As you can see, you do have two sets of tabs back here. Uh, for blast off, you want to use these two tabs. Those are the ones you want to use. And it will just tab into the slots right in there. So just get everything lined up. Tab that in and then just close the two halves like so just give it a good squeeze get it all nice and squozen and there you have blast off in arm mode right there and not too shabby looking looks good nice looking arm mode now you do have some optional totally optional parts forming you can do if you want to, because you have an optional display for the full-on combined mode. Um, this cockpit right here is actually like a faux cockpit, kind of, sort of. But if you get in here, I'll probably have to bring this up again. There we go. If you come in here, you can actually pull this cockpit up. And look, there's another one underneath. <laughs> you take that off. Like so. And just to show this off, you can see there's some nice molded detail there. And from the front, it looks like a sad puppy. Anyway, you can remove that and you can remove the wings and they're just tabbed in. So remove the wings and that does make for a much cleaner looking arm mode, which you may prefer or not, totally up to you. But what you do here is you take this and you take the wings and you flip these tabs up and they will tab into the slots right back here. You can tab that there and flip that up and tab that there. And you have an optional, more cartoon accurate chest piece for Bruticus. There's a little bit more that gets attached to it, but we'll get to that when we review uh, Vortex. But yeah, you get an optional chest piece here for the combined mode if you want to use it, which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Now, as far as this cockpit section goes, if you don't want to take this off, if you never intend on using it for the combined mode, you can leave this attached and never remove it ever again. It will still transform pretty much just fine. There is a little bit of a hindrance though if you leave it on, but I'll get to that when we get to robot mode. Um, but you can, totally, you can totally leave this on throughout the entire transformation without having to take it off. So it is completely and totally optional parts for me. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, if you don't like this design for the cockpit and you prefer the way this one looks, you can take this and chuck it in a drawer and never look at it again. Totally up to you what you want to do there. But hey, you got options. And as always, options are good. But I'm going to take all this and just plug it back on. It does just drop right down like so. And I'll put the wings back on. Again, just tab right in. Like that. There you go. So again, totally optional parts for me you can do if you want to, which is nice. So that is basically it for the arm mode. And again, you get a nice elbow joint right there. And again, we'll get into all the articulation of everything when we get to combine mode. But yeah, arm mode. Woo! Woo! Up high! Down low! Up too slow too slow. Anyway, let's get down to robot mode. So, we'll just uh, remove the hand and put that off to the side because we're not going to need that anymore. And we will just transform the legs. Let's just straighten out his body here. So, you just want to come here and you want to open up these panels. You can use landing gears there for leverage. Open up those panels right there and you just want to take legs and uh, just extend them down on that big double hinge you get some squeaky there <laughs> and then you take this panel raise it up and you got tab and a tab and you got a slot and a slot and you just take that and bring that up and everything will lock in take the landing gear and just rotate that up bring it down to make his knee for the foot you just take it Swing it out like that. You want to rotate the foot halfway around. And when you get here, you want to take the toes and rotate them 180. 
Um, I like to take the thruster here and rotate this as well. So the purple section is on the bottom. It just gives him more of a, a foot there. The instructions aren't specific about what you do here, so that just makes sense to me. So I just bring that the rest of the way around, and bring the foot around. And there you have a leg all done. Squeaky! Second verse, just like the first. So again, just extend the leg. Flip that up. Close that up. Rotate the landing gear. And just bring out the foot. Swing it out. Twisty, twisty. Twisty, twisty. Twisty, twisty. And bring uppy, uppy. And there you got the legs all done. And you just take his, uh, his, his crotch panel here and you just bring that down. And now we can just take his body here and just compress it back down like so. And there you have the lower body all done. And now for the upper body here. So I'll take this and just pop it up. Just bring that back. And again, we're going to just wiggle, 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 and bring all that out like that. This section here, you just bring down flush against his back, which in turn will bring that armature there holding the head up with it. Take the nose and just fold that in like that. Um, there's one little bit of clearance issue right here. You want to take these panels and flip them all the way in because you can see this kind of gets in the way. So you do have to kind of pull this up a bit just so it'll clear. And it's the one instance of you having to push something past something where, you know, I'm not a fan of that, but you're not extremely flexing it. And it's literally the only time you have to do it with this toy. It still kind of irks me, but I don't know, it is what it is. It's, it's not too extreme, so, you know, I can live with it. But anyway, there you basically have the backpack all done and ready to go. So now we can just take the arms and split them. And how the arms work here is you just want to bring the arm down as you're rotating the arm up at this ratchet joint here. Like that. And once you have that done... Come back down here a little bit. You just take the shoulder pad here, what will be the shoulder pad, and that just comes down, gets out of the way. You want to take this forearm section here, and it will extend up, rotate it around, and then slide it back down. And then you take the fist, bring it over, bring it down, and then you just rotate at the bicep there, so everything's oriented properly. Then you just bring the arm down, now, as far as the shoulder pad goes, um, you know, you can take it and angle it out if you want to. Leave it down. You have that double hinge in there, so it does kind of come down a little bit. You can have it angled at a slightly different angle, at a lower angle. Me, personally, I just like to have it just kind of compressed up and just straight. But, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. But, there you have an arm all done. Second vase, of course, just like the first. Just rotate this around. Uh, you do want to make sure that this landing gear is brought over, otherwise it will get in the way. So just bring the arm down, get that shoulder pad out of the way, extend that up, rotate it, bring it down, collapse the, uh, the hand down, rotate the bicep, again, squeaky, it's squeaky. Bring that down, again, do what you want with the shoulder pad there. So we got that done. So now you want to take the combiner port here, and you do want to bring it all the way back. Stiff joint. Yeah, just bring it all the way back like that. You can then just flip out this panel and bring the chest piece up like so. And then we just take the whole backpack section and again just collapse all of this up like that. And I'll just tab in back there, just like it's been this whole time. Have that in nice and secure like, and you just drop the head down. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And uh, there you have Lash Layer in his robot mode. And he looks good. He's a nice looking blast off, in my opinion. I do quite dig it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, at his noggin. There it is. You can see, 
pretty nice head sculpt there. Nice transparent red for the visor. All the light piping. It's kind of worse. You can see it's just that little thin strip there. Uh, but, you know, it, it works semi-well. You know, the eyes do glow a little bit. And you got some of that uh, smoky transparent plastic there on the chest. You got some nice purple and black there as well. You got some brown and purple, some black in there. Some nice detail there on the legs, as well as the inside of the legs. You even have some nice detail, and some of it is picked out in paint. His feet have some purple and some silver in there. And going out the back. Just have the cockpit there against his back. So, not too bad. Now, articulation wise, the head can do a full 360. Can, oops, can look up a bit, can look down. Uh, Would have been nice if this panel his head is on, actually tabbed in, because if you want to move his head sometimes you'll just kind of move it, the whole thing up like that. Would have been nice if there was a tab there just to keep that in place, but you have your head movement there. Arms can do a full 360, can go in and out on a ratcheted joint. Um, you can use a transformation joint also if you need to for some extra range of movement. You do have very squeaky bicep rotation. Double jointed elbows, you have a nice full range of movement there. Uh, you do have wrist rotation, hands can open and close. The index finger is a separate piece and the other three fingers are just one solid piece. Uh, you do have waist rotation and just due to his combined mode, he has a uh, sideward, 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 sideways, uh, <laughs> a sideways ab crunch there. If that serves any purpose for you, hey, it's a thing. It's a, it's a, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Um, the cross plate here will move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. That's, that's squeaky as well. Outward, you can do the full splits. Oh, that's squeaky. You get rotation right at the hip. Uh, you get... 90 degrees of a bend there at the knee. Um, the feet can move up a little bit, can move down a bit, and you get full levels there of ankle tiltage. And of course you can have him holding his gun, and that's where this coating they put on the handle makes a problem, because now it is really, really not easy to get the gun in his hand. It helps if you just kind of plug it in backwards like this, because the Way to get the best leverage, just kind of twist it in there and get it into his hand there. Turn around and he holds it securely, but it's a pain in the butt to get it into his hand. And as you can see, I mean, you know, you just kind of like are just scraping off that coating as you're doing it because it's too tight. But there it is. He has a big gun. And pew pew bang bang. Pew pew bang bang. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the Warbitron Blast Off. You can see how they look with one another. Here it is with the Hasbro Combiner Wars Blast Off. And here it is with G1 Blast Off because it's pressure. Blasting off into pressure. Swoosh. And now let's bring the boys in. So here we have Onslaught. We got Swindle. And we got Brawl. And here we have our Combaticons so far. And yeah, they look good together. This is a good looking set of bots right here. I like it. I like it. And for some MP comparisons, here he is with Masterpiece Star Scream. So you can see how he looks with the Screamer. And here he is with Masterpiece Megatron. So you can see how that works out. Okay, so let's talk about the backpack for a minute here. Now, if you want to leave the second cockpit on, um, again, you can transform it just fine, kinda, um, but there is a bit of a clearance issue here, so actually let me remove the backpack here, just wiggle, 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 and uh, let me bring these little panels back out here just to show you 
what's going to happen here. So basically when you're going into shuttle mode, you're going to bring all this down and there's really no clearance here for this to fold down. So when you bring it down, you are just kind of pushing that plastic past this piece here and it will, it will cause some damage there to those little corners. Um, and apparently they did not account for, well, what if you just want to leave this on and never take it off? Um, because if you remove this section, come on, yeah, there you go. If you remove this section, as you can see, there's plenty of clearance because there's just a gap right there. So that can move around just fine. You have no problems whatsoever. But if you do want to leave this on, as you can see, it brings that clearance to next to nothing. So when you're bringing it back or bringing it forward, you are going to be kind of grinding those little corners there of this, uh, of this cockpit section here. And I'll get in close here so you can see what's happening. You can see it's just kind of grinding those two, those two little corners there. It's not extreme. It's not like you're damaging the entire thing. It's just two little corners and it's not super, I mean, it is kind of noticeable, but not super noticeable. It's not a big eyesore, but still it, it does kind of suck. And uh, like I said, apparently that's not something they accounted for when they were designing this. Um, but it is what it is. But, you know, again, you know, you can leave this on if you want to, but just know that that's going to be a thing that's going to happen if you do choose to leave the uh, the second cockpit on. So just be aware of that. So there you have Unique Toys Lash Layer. Um, it's, it's a good figure. I do quite like it. Shuttle mode looks good, the robot mode looks good, but you do get some tolerance and clearance issues like with the gun handle and those, you know, those little panels back there, you have to push past that hinge. And of course, the uh, the issue you have if you want to leave the second cockpit attached, which granted you could solve by just not leaving it attached, but again, if you just never want to take it off, you're going to have that issue. But all in all, for the most part, it is a pretty solid figure and uh, yeah, the team is shaping up quite nicely, so can't wait to finish it. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Unique Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Ragnaros playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Unique Toys Lash Layer, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Ah, my next creation is complete! And I shall call you Blast Off because you're a space shuttle and you will Blast Off! I know, I'm a genius. Well, since I just came online, you, uh, you are the smartest guy I've ever met. But I'm pretty sure once I meet the next guy, you'll lose that title. So I'm gonna go meet him. Yes, yes, go mingle with your comrades with the. Hey! I, I, I think that was an insult.